welcome to another episode of Coffee Review for two. two. This is extremely special because we have a variety of coffees from one coffee maker. This is my first question Mommy. with this. Yes, Leia will be here in the background interrupting. <laughs> the coffee review for three. <laughs> okay, so this coffee maker makes three different kinds of coffee. It does a cold drip, an immersion, and a pour over. Today, we're going to taste the different ah! cuttings. And this will be my first time tasting it. Yesterday, I made a cold drip. You also connect it to the app. The app tells you how long to brew for based on the weight of how much coffee you used, how much water you're using, how dark you want it, how light you want it. Right. Cleanse the palate first, I guess. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. We're gonna try how this turned out. I haven't tried tea. it. Get tea! It's not tea, it's coffee. What's coffee tea? Coffee, okay. I have not tried this yet. I made it yesterday. You make it by putting the coffee in this part. You put a filter on top. It fits right inside the pitcher. You put the ice and the water in the top and then you adjust the dial to the drip speed you want and then it drips. So this one's only for a cold brew? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's try this out. We're gonna be trying a lot of coffee, so I'm thinking we don't wanna try that much. I should say, I'm using the same coffee with all of these. All of these, we're using the same kind of coffee. It's El Marito. Is it, do I smell Ethiopian? Guatemala. You know, I do like Guatemala. I was wrong. Okay, did you try it? You did. Not yet. I smell it because it smells so good. Hmm, very nice. Very flavorful, I like it. Mm -hmm. So this is the coffee that we're using. I've always wanted to do this, even though it doesn't matter because it's already <laughs> white on its own. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Can you see the color of my <laughs> coffee? <laughs> it's beautiful. I would say it's much more sour than when it's made hot. Is it? I think so. It has a very clear taste, but not a sharp one. It has a lot of body to it, yes. I think, but there's very little bitterness. Correct. Which I like. I like it as well. Ooh, baby. Now, this is the point when you go to shake it down and when I'm using the app yes. that it glitches every time. If I take that out and put it back in. Uh, first you do the blooming process. Okay, I guess we'll do immersion first because it'll take the most time. So then I go like this. Hey Siri, set timer to three minutes. Normally you use this with the app. By the way, when I'm making videos at home, it's literally like this. Like, non-stop. <laughs> it's so frustrating. It's <laughs> like, leave me alone! You do a great job editing! <laughs> right? <laughs> With the immersion method, what you do is you obviously first clean the filter, you put in the coffee grounds, and then you fill it with water, and then you wait for three minutes, and then you release. It's supposed Ooh. to be a, more, a fuller bodied experience of coffee. If you have the app, when you select it, it tells you you haven't done this before, do you want to watch the video on it? And then the video takes you right to Brilliant. YouTube. Brilliant. Very smart. I like that. Yeah, it's very cool. And then when you go to their YouTube channel, they have instructional videos on everything, how to do every method. I really like it. I will say that it feels a bit rushed and okay. like kind of edited in an artistic way. When it feels like what I would really like is a very instructional video. I could do that for you if you want to give me another one. <laughs> Ooh. So, so far I've done every method. Obviously the pour over where it just drains is the easiest. Mm -hmm. The cold drip was going to take five hours, which is fine. Other than when the app, when I quit the app, it stopped counting, which is like not really important. Time's up. This dial tends to get hot. It starts to release. Also, this kind of gets warm. It'd be nice if they made even if it was just like the rims of things, maybe like um, a rubber or okay. something. This is exactly my first complaint with this and it was the first thing I noticed. I will try to be positive because I tend to be more critical. I tend to be very detail oriented and like okay. little detailed things will drive me crazy that other people don't notice. Yes. That was the first thing I noticed yes. that bothered me so bad was if I just go like this, it Ooh. just like, it slides around and it's not as bad because of the filter, but if I were to put the filter, like if I take uh -huh. the filter out because that's done brewing, but if I just set it here, it's like, 
Like, it just slides around. And I, like, I was, yeah. I just felt for how perfectly this is designed, that was such a stupid mistake. And not only, like, it's also awkward to hold it like yes. this. If you're a man, it probably is fine because your hands are probably bigger. But whatever, I don't have, like, incredibly tiny hands. It's just a very awkward hold. And I feel like, look, this little rubber piece here, if that was around here, it would probably fit perfectly, but it just feels very awkward. And I, that's one thing that I absolutely really don't like. Like, I, it's the number one complaint I have with this. Yeah. I feel like if it had that, and I know aesthetically, it wouldn't go for, like, what they're wanting, because it's like, mm -hmm. you know, it has a very specific look. But even if there was just, like, the smallest little thing here to be able to, yeah. like, lift the lid up where you wouldn't have to then touch it while it's You know, hot. I almost feel if it was just on, like, one side, if there was a slight Ooh, tab that you yes. could pull that, that would look better. I don't know. It's your guys' design, but that was, like, the number one thing. I was like, how did that pass by everyone? Yeah. Anyways. Yes. So now that we close it, okay, I think as it comes out, it's, like, perfect temperature for okay. drinking. However, if you pour it yourself like this, it's pretty much cold in five minutes, uh -huh. which is a big problem for me. So what I normally do is I fill the mug with hot water before I make the coffee. And then I dump out the hot water and then I fill my hot mug with hot coffee. And then it'll last. I guess that's just the way a pour over works. I feel though with this base, it's like, couldn't you make the bottom a heat Heater. pad? Like that yes. would be so smart and it would keep the coffee warmer. Like it doesn't have to get to really high temperature. Yeah. And I understand that it's also a scale. So I'm sure you have like electronic issues, but I feel like if it's already made to withstand hot coffee, maybe you could just go the one step further and make it enough to like keep I the agree. coffee warm. Ooh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Also, Mommy, I love this mug. Isn't it? Which one do you have? It's so Chaps cute. Chaps. Don't you love it? I know. Oh, it is time for coffee. See what I mean? Perfect temperature. It is. Perfect temperature yeah. coming out. The flavors are definitely, which makes sense, coming out more in the cold Mommy. brew. But it's also had a lot more time to brew. So what do you think of this cup of coffee? <laughs> um, okay. I really like it. I like it too. I think I enjoy the cold brew more just because Mommy. I can, it does smell sweeter. The cold brew smells sweeter, but I also feel like I can taste more of the fullness of the actual coffee. I feel the cold brew has more dimension. Like it's yeah. like more layers of mm -hmm. flavor. Then when you're done, all you do is remove and toss. Remove and toss. And then I will put in a new filter. So we will do this again. Ooh, can I this time? Yes, please. <gasps> oh, perfect. Oh, that is so hard to hold. Right? I was afraid it was going to slip out of my hand. And, and I I do have tiny hands. I could not Rinse it off. Okay. Mommy. Yes, Leah. But I love ah. turning the knob. Right? It is very satisfying. My question <laughs> would be, does it come in other colors? It does. It comes in white. Okay. And like a stainless steel base. How about base? red? No. <sighs> Leia. Coffee round two. Now this is just going to be a oh. pour over. So first the blooming. Oh, it's not open. Oops. It's all right. I always forget almost. And this is, to me, the most easily drinkable coffee that it makes. Like Why I, is that? It's not such a bold cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. It's much lighter. And I think for that reason, it's easier for me to drink it. Okay, I will say though, try the coffee now and tell me about the temperature. Okay. Alright, how long has this been? Probably not, ten. it's been... 10? Maybe 10. Okay. Long. Like, it's warm, but it's almost yeah. like Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not, it's not bad. That it's like within two minutes you're gonna have to put in the microwave. Yeah. For other people, maybe they drink their coffee really quick. But for me, one is I like to enjoy it, and two is I have kids. I wonder how easy this is to clean. I was asking my friends on YouTube, that, how would you clean this? Great question. So it is kind of awkward because pulling it out, it like tends to slide to one side like mm -hmm. this. 
and when I went to empty the ground, it was really tough. Imagine it's full. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay, I'll do this, but then it's like, you're doing this, trying to get them to come out, but you don't want to hit the end because you don't want it to break. Yeah. And then when you can finally grab it, it's like, like you can feel it. It's, it's really, like, tends to pull hmm. to one side. Oh, yeah. That's strange. Do you have to do, like, the bottom? Oh, nope. Because then it goes to one side. <laughs> exactly. Like that. <laughs> so it's a little awkward. I don't know. I think the only thing that would help is hmm. if this were longer. But it's a little awkward to get out, I will say. Um, it does have the filter on top, so that is supposed to keep the grounds in. Okay. But, again, if it moves to the side at all, like, the grinds, the grounds come up off the side. Okay, this is done. My palette. Final cup of coffee. Beautiful color. It looks, the color looks so much lighter mm -hmm. in the pitcher than it does in the cup. And this is one you typically have been making, correct? This is the one I've typically been making. Okay. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Like Holy this. guacamole, that is warm. Yeah, that's a lot. This hotter. is like the temperature I like to have it because I'm like, oh, then yeah. it's like a little sip at a time. I just take small sips. That's the way I like to enjoy mm. coffee. Okay, I like this one better than the last cup. No, it's my favorite. But I don't know if it's because it's the temperature, but I think it's the flavor. I think it's the flavor. It has to be the flavor because I feel like with the other one, I was like, yeah. this is good coffee, but this one, I'm like, oh. So this is what I mean when I say drinkability. Uh -huh. I feel some really bold cups of coffee are so, there's so much body and so much flavor that by the end of the cup of coffee I'm kind of done. I kind of feel like my palate is done with that. Yeah. And this I feel like I could easily drink for a long time. I would <laughs> I say enjoy it. the pour over is the most smooth. For sure. It's Definitely. Very smooth. Oh. Mm. So what do you think about the setup, the system? Um, I think so I haven't had as much time to like actually, you know. Right. This is use good though it. because you have the seasoned. I've been using it for two weeks now. Yes. And you first time yes. experience. This is a good contrast. I think because of the design, at least aesthetic wise, you could make it look the exact same and still have it have a heater on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I agree that would be very beneficial. And yes, I think that something needs to be done with the lid. I didn't even notice that it slips around. I think for me, I was thinking more just the hot factor mm -hmm. and that it's really hard because it fits perfectly with this. It's very hard to grab. Mm -hmm. Besides that, aesthetically, it looks great. It's I'd beautiful. i give it a 10 on that. Yes. I think the idea of connecting it to your phone also Brilliant. I know you said it has some glitches now and then. I think the idea of that is so smart, especially if you aren't necessarily as good at like keeping track of timing things, or if you haven't made a really good cup of coffee and you don't understand how like precision mm -hmm. with the amount of coffee beans to water really makes a difference. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that to yep. hear that from you because I wrote down a few things but <laughs> I actually made a full review of this and then once I was done I looked back on it and thought I didn't think I did a very good job so I went back and I went to the website I researched everything I used it again and I made the notes of what it was that I liked and I disliked I do have a thought yes I wonder if if they also have one that's not made of glass that would be easier to mm. then travel with because I Excellent like that. point. Oh, do they? No, oh. not that I know of. Because I like that this comes off, so like you can yes. like compact it more if you need to travel. But traveling with glass is always to this point. Yes. Luca gave me this as a birthday present. I was extremely excited. I opened it up, and the picture was broken. I was very very sad. So I wrote them right away on Instagram and said, "This is what happened." Is it possible for me to, like, do you have a location in Ljubljana that I can come and exchange it? They got back to me and said, yes, we have a location in Ljubljana. You can come bring it in and we'll give you, uh, like, we'll exchange it. And I sent them a picture and everything. I ended up driving to their office. It wasn't that easy to find, which is not, like, a big deal. It's not yeah. a huge problem. Just to, I had to find it. I had to arrange a time to go get it. And then when I walked in, it was like everyone was in a meeting and it was so uncomfortable when I walked in. It was like everyone looked at me and it was just like <laughs> literally five seconds. It was just like, whoosh. 
And then everyone just stared at me and I was like, what's up guys? Hi. Hey. And then somebody came down to help me and he was really kind. It was very nice that I was able to resolve the situation so quickly. However, I feel the better customer service experience would have been if they had just said, don't even worry about it. We'll send one out today. You'll get it in the mail tomorrow. It would have been way easier for me. Yeah. As Americans, we really notice customer service because it's so important to us. I will say Chasacabo is probably, this is not promoted, it's not an ad, they're not paying me. But while we're doing it, let's. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I've contacted her, had any problems, like, and it has been so seamless. Hmm. Their company, the way that they work is just, it's so focused on the customer experience and making it so great for you to buy their product. So that's why I like to promote them, because I really think they're a fantastic company, even though I'm not sponsored or paid by them at all. But they did give me one of these for free. Chast, I think Chast it was Zacabo. the Chast yeah. Zacabo. They did give me that one for free. And then I broke it. No, and Olivia broke it. And they sent me another one. That's what I'm talking about when I say, like, freaking thinking about your customers. Especially customers who are going to do reviews. That's right. We love you, <laughs> Chas the Cabo. So that was just kind of a weird... And there was nothing inherently negative about the experience. It's just like how this could have been a better experience. Yeah. I hope it doesn't come off as like I had like a terrible experience with you. I just felt as a, as a customer when I walked in, it felt like it was inconvenient for me to be there. Instead of like, oh, a customer, we love that you're here. Just a moment. How we found out even about this mm. was at... The coffee festival. The coffee festival. The people there who were telling us about this. Yes. Like you said, so uh, friendly. So friendly. I So genuine. So nice. One of the nicest Slovenes I think I've ever met. <laughs> like, true. It's they true. Sold they sold really good. One of the few companies I remember from the, the yeah. festival. Mm -hmm. And I even came home and told Luca, I found a coffee maker you'd like because it connects to your phone. I told my mom that too. <laughs> really? I said, I would buy it for you. If I had the money to buy this for you because you're just my friend. So, so, let's talk about that. The smart model is $245. How? Leia, you got this, girl. So, I see, okay. but for what, what do you get with it? So the smart model is $245, which is quite pricey. The smart means that I'm assuming it's all the electrical side of it. The okay. electronics, which is the scale, the fact that it connects to your phone, the app. All of that is included. If you get the basic version, it's $125. And that comes without electronics, without the app. Honestly, I don't know that the app and the scale are worth that much of the price Mommy. increase. If there was a heater in it to keep my coffee warm, probably. Absolutely. Quite honestly. Yeah. If that, I would honestly say that would make the difference in price for me. Although I go, if it doesn't have the electronics, is it worth $125? I don't know because I could get just a really beautiful picture with the thing in it yeah. and it would be a lot less than $125. That's true. Here's what I do like for that price. I think for that price, this is a beautiful piece to have in your kitchen. I would happily have this on my countertop because it is so beautifully designed. Whereas if I'm going to go buy something that's going to be for like $50 to $60, I'm probably going to put it away yeah. and like not have it out. This is kind of an art piece as well. Yes, that's true. This is where it charges, it plugs in. It feels like the, it's like a micro USB, I think is what it's called, but it feels like it's upside down. It comes with a cord. It doesn't come with a plug, which is really inconvenient. Even though we all have tons of plugs that, for USBs that a USB can plug into, it's just a little inconvenient that because what I have to do is I have to go to my bedroom God bless you. I have to go to my bedroom. I have to take out, like, unplug the bat, the plug for my watch, and then I have to use that one, mm -hmm. and then I have to go return it. For this price, this, like, that, the plug yeah. should be included. How often do you have to charge it? That's a good question. I'm glad you asked. That's the next uh, thing I was going to say. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it's uh, like I knew. But I didn't. So it's supposed to give you, a, tr a full charge is supposed to give you 20 hours of brew time. Okay. And 30 days of standby. I have already had to charge it, and I haven't had it that long. My it is possible, key. though, that I didn't do a full charge on the first time Mommy. I charged it. If it does really last 20 hours of brew time and 30 days of standby, or 30 days and or, like, that's amazing. Yeah. If I only have to charge it once a month, then it's not such an inconvenience. Then I go, well, I guess it's not the end of the world. And I will say more kitchens that are being built today have the outlet 
and they have the USB as part of the outlet. Hmm. That's like happening a lot in America right now. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I get that it's a little maybe forward thinking and if you want to... I'm, I'm trying to see both sides of the story here. While we're speaking of story... story. <laughs> <laughs> like, speaking of story... Goat story. It comes from a story about goats who found coffee or were the first to discover coffee. Something like this. I don't know the full story. I didn't go oh. look into the I was getting ready campaign. to like... For story time. As a native English speaker, I'm confused as to what to call this. Do I call it the Goat Story Company? The company's name is Goat Story, but it's weird in English. It's awkward to not have the in front of it, to not have the article the. I don't know why. For me, it feels a little uncomfortable. I like it. It's, I like the idea goat behind story. it. I just feel like it should be the Goat Story or it's Goat Story Gina. <laughs> See, that's the thing I was confused about because, okay, let me show you people. Okay, this is my second thing about the name. <laughs> Gina, Gina, I don't know. So, from what I understand, and I went and looked at your team and everyone who's like listed on the team, I think everyone is Slovenian, which means you'd most likely pronounce this as Gina, but when in their videos, it's always pronounced as Gina. And I don't know why you would choose the name Gina. I'm really curious. And in some cases, it's put in all capitals as if it stands, like it's an acronym. I don't know if it is an acronym, but it's just like a weird name to give a really beautiful coffee maker. And I feel like it's... Once again, I like it. <laughs> I feel like it's awkward when I hear the name Gina and it's not like... Like I've known some Ginas. It's just a name like... Nancy or Kathy. It doesn't fit to me. Like, I don't know what it stands for, and I feel like something this beautiful would have more of an artistic name to it. I don't know. That's just my thought. Like, I know you like it, but I'm just like, what does it mean? Why Gina? Does it stand for something? Who is Gina? Maybe it goes with the goat story? Hmm. Again, the goat story. I think that all the Gina's, Kathy's, and Nancy's are gonna come <laughs> after you. <laughs> It's Gina. I love you. This I think this is great. You look like this. I don't. It's not that I think it's like a bad name. Goat Story sounds like the name of the company, while yeah. Gina is the name of this specific product. Yes, that's right. Okay, see that's where my confusion. Was. Okay, not necessarily the actual name, but which one was the name and which was the company. So if I understand correctly, it started with that goat horn mug. Oh, that's them. <gasps> Okay, if it wasn't named Gina, what do we think it should be named? <sighs> Paige? No, like, it's just, it, I think that's what it is. It's weird to me to name it after, after a, person, a person. Unless it's, like, someone that's really connected. But I'm thinking if everyone's hmm. Slovenian, they can't be connected to the name Gina. It looks very much like a Sally to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I really wish? I really wish it had been named something that was, like, quintessential Slovenian. That would just tell you it's Slovenian, Ooh. and we're so proud that we designed mm. something that it's like comes from Slovenia. Like, I just wish that somehow that heritage would have made it mm. into the product. As it is, I even had to look it up to be like, I don't even know if this is a Slovenian company uh -huh. or a Slovenian product. And then everyone on the team seemed to be Slovenian, so I was like, okay, I guess it is. But I just feel like I'm sad that that's not more boldly spoken about. I wonder if that's better for marketing. Maybe I don't know. Maybe. maybe I don't know. But if I were to think of something, uh... so we're split goat okay, story. Okay, here's what I, I love. Say. I love goat okay. story. And Gina, she doesn't like it. I just like to understand it a little more. Again, this is where I go. I'm yeah. super detail oriented. Mm -hmm. To a point, that's not so good. Lena would have made more sense to me. Ooh. Because Lena translates to a line, like a small line. And I just feel like this has beautiful mm. lines in it. Have you thought about that? Because that's good. It makes more sense to me. <laughs> Lena is great. So anyways, that's what I mean when I say like it just doesn't seem... And you pronounce it the same in English or in Slovene. Exactly. And probably every other language. If you go, but that's the name of somebody. I go, yeah, so it was Gina. <laughs> Lena. Ooh, um, that's good. I Write might just start down. calling <laughs> Lena. <laughs> I gotta get Lena out. No, you know what I named it in the what? app? Because in the app, you actually <gasps> name your device. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, <laughs> You'll never I have get. No, I don't know. I named it the Bruminator. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you know what? This reminds me of Audrey Hepburn. That's why I feel like it just doesn't match. Because Audrey Hepburn in the modern world. In like a coffee maker, this is what she would be. Like timeless, classic, well designed. Mm -hmm. And then it's like Gina just doesn't fit. It's true. Oh, that's um, real good. So the one other thing I have to say is that the app glitches a lot. And I will show you what it looks like because I actually record it and it's almost every time I use it when I want to take off the top and replace it, it does, it like shows a negative on the scale and that happens over and over again. So that is not a big deal because it's a software bug that they can fix. Please, please fix that. Uh, so it's not like a deal breaker for yeah. me. It's just very annoying. On my Instagram when I posted I had this. So many people messaged me and said, oh my gosh, tell me how it is because I've seen it and I really want one, it's so pretty, I wanna know if it works well. And I had some people who wrote me and said, yeah, I don't use the scale or the app, I just make the coffee mm. in it. Um, which is kind of a bummer, if you're not gonna use the scale then you paid all the extra yeah. money for it. I love the fact that the scale is integrated. I feel like that is such a winning point because I really was trying to weigh my coffee to see if it would like, and use the ratios correctly to get that perfect cup of coffee. And I love that the app collects all the coffees that you make, and then you can go back and find the ones you like. So you can experiment with different oh. coffees and different ratios, and then you can publicly publish them. And other people who have the app can That's see smart. it and try it, they can favorite it, they can comment. That's amazing. That's, that's smart. It's very cool. So I love that aspect. It's just like, please fix the app because I'm not going to mm. keep using it if it keeps glitching because it's so frustrating. Yeah. But I love the mm. idea. I love the way it's set up. The app is very beautifully designed. And I know from experience with Luca's company, app development is a pain. It is not easy. It takes a lot of time. Writing code is very difficult. So I get that. And I don't think it's a deal breaker. Did you purchase the coffee or did it come with a bag of coffee? I purchased it. It did not come with coffee. I know that, that this is totally not necessary, but I'm just saying if this Good is not point. necessarily for them, but for a coffee company, if they were to mm. partner up with them and like when you buy it, you get a sample of a type of coffee. That would be brilliant. That would be brilliant because then it you get would. some loyal customers. And not only that, but then I can use it instantly. That was honestly the Ooh. biggest disappointment of the whole experience for me was when I opened it, I was so excited. Like I was so happy. I was like, oh, because for the longest time I've been wanting a pour over system and I finally got one and it was so beautiful. I knew exactly what it was. And then when I opened it and it was broken, I was so like, I had to wait like two days before I could yeah. make coffee. And it was just disappointing. Whereas like, I think if you include the coffee with it, to be able to open it and go, oh my gosh, and make coffee right away, yep. that would be a whole nother level of experience. I like it. It's a beautiful product. I am happy to have it, and I think it is worth it to own it. Ooh, I'm going to say it's a beautiful product. I'm happy you have it, <laughs> and I think it's worth it for you to own it. <laughs> would you spend that much money for this? I would not, but mm. that's also because I don't even make coffee at my own house. All right. I go out for <laughs> coffee or I have my roommate make it for me. There you go. So there you go. But if I was into coffee, so this is different. If I made coffee on a regular basis, then yes. Mm -hmm. I think I would be willing to invest in it. I enjoy having this for the reason that it is beautiful. It makes a really delicious daily cup of coffee. The different methods give you different kinds of coffee, mm -hmm. like flavors and you get variety. I love the cold drip. And I just think that it's a piece that I like having because it is beautiful, it is functional, it does all those things. And I'm just a coffee enthusiast and I wanted a pour over system and this is like the best way to get more than just a pour over. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy with it. Um, the little things I mentioned, I hope that you don't take those, like, that I'm really unhappy with it because I really am happy with this. It makes me super happy to see it sitting on my counter. It is I beautiful. love using it. I love showing it to Sally and being like, look at my new coffee maker. I know, it's so great. It's so lovely. Also, I will say I love the little details, like the goat here. Yes. I don't know if you can see it. The it's goat so right cute. here. 
so beautiful. I think having like the goat story on the bottom. Yeah, great I love that. Touch. Good branding. Yes. That is one of my main complaints that I had with other pour over systems. I hated that they showed like the measuring system or they had their brand really ugly on it. To me, I don't like a lot of branding and I think that is a huge sell point for this for me. It's very clean, aesthetic, beautiful. Yes. I'm happy yeah. with it. Goat story, you made a beautiful product. If you made those little changes, it would be absolutely perfect. If you liked this review, let us know. Let us know if you've tried it in the comments below. Let us Ooh. know if you have questions about it in the comments below. Like this post <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Chicky, 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 chicky. Leia, you were so good for the end of that. I know, that was real good. Didn't say a peep.